Asian American, Pacific Islander, Heritage Month by Lynn Hefley. Directions. Listen to the biography of the exceptional Asian American or Pacific Islander athlete. Pause the video. Perform the exercise that corresponds with the athlete's outstanding accomplishments. Then restart the video. Vicky Manello was born and raised in San Francisco, California, to a Filipino father and English mother. She began diving at the age of 16 and used her mother's maiden name, Taylor, to apply for membership to a Patterson Swimming and Diving Club to avoid discrimination. In 1946, she married her diving coach, Lyle Draves. She won five national diving championships leading up to the London Olympics in 1948. At the Olympics, she won the three meter springboard event, making her the first Asian American to win an Olympic medal. She then won the 10 meter platform to make her the first woman diver to sweep the diving venue. After retiring from diving, she performed professionally in aquatic shows and opened a diving training camp with her husband. Adopted at the age of nine months old, Greg Luganis's biological father is of Samoan descent. As a child, he practiced dancing and gymnastics before beginning diving lessons at age nine. He won his first Olympic medal, a silver, at the age of 16. The United States boycotted the next Olympic Games in Russia, so Luganis had to wait four years before earning gold medals in both the three-meter springboard and 10-meter platform events, with record-breaking scores. In the 1988 Olympic Games, Luganis hit his head on the platform during a preliminary round and sustained a concussion. Despite the injury, he went on to win gold in both diving events, making him the first man in Olympic history to sweep the diving competition in consecutive games. He was also the first person to receive a perfect score from all seven judges in an international event. He finished his career with 47 national and 13 world championships. Embarrassed by her five foot tall, 86 pound stature, Mickey Gorman, a Japanese immigrant, began running to gain weight in her early 30s. Her first competitive race was a 100 mile, 24 hour indoor race. In her first marathon at the age of 38, she set an unofficial world's best time. She then went on to win the Boston Marathon four months later in record time. She placed second the following year, but then won both the Boston and the New York Marathon in 1977. At the age of 42, she became the only woman to ever win both the Boston and the New York Marathons twice. She enjoyed success in numerous track and field long distance events in the Masters Division and set a world record for the half marathon at the age of 45 with a time of one hour, 15 minutes, and 58 seconds. She has been inducted into the National Distance Running and New York Roadrunners Halls of Fame. Born in Seoul, South Korea, to an African-American serviceman father and a Korean mother, Heinz Ward moved to the United States at the age of one. Heinz was raised primarily by his paternal grandmother and then his mother after his parents divorced. He excelled in football and baseball through high school and college. He was drafted by the Florida Marlins for baseball, as well as the Pittsburgh Steelers for football. He chose football and played 14 seasons with the Steelers. He was selected to four consecutive NFL Pro Bowls, played on two Super Bowl championships teams, and was the Super Bowl MVP in 2006. He is at the top of the Steelers' all-time leading receivers list with 1,000 catches for over 12,000 yards and 85 touchdowns. Since retiring in 2011, he has made a career as a sports analyst and businessman and won season 12 of Dancing with the Stars. He is an advocate for social change through the Heinz Ward Helping Hands Foundation. Susan Chow tried to sign her daughter up for ballet at the age of three, but no ballet school would take a child that young, 
so Amy Chow was signed up for gymnastics. She began an advanced program at the age of five. Chow was nicknamed the trickster for the difficulty and complexity of her skills. She has two uneven parallel bar skills named after her. She is the only American woman to perform a double twisting Yurchenko vault and a tucked double double uneven bars dismount in international competition. In 1995, she won two gold and two silver medals in the Pan American Games. She is most famous for her contribution to the Magnificent Seven, the women's first gold medal winning Olympic gymnastics team in 1996. She also earned a silver medal on the uneven bars during that Olympics. She returned to the Olympics in the year 2000 as part of the bronze winning team. Amy has been inducted into both the Olympic and the Gymnastic Halls of Fame and is currently a pediatrician in California. Raised by his Japanese father, after his mother left the family when he was a year old, Apollo Ono enjoyed swimming and inline skating before taking up short track speed skating at the age of 13. He won a series of events in his age bracket, but at the same time was becoming a rebellious teen. His father got him accepted as the youngest skater to the Lake Placid Olympic Training Center during the summer as an effort to distance his son from his troublesome peers. At 14, he became the youngest skater to win the U.S. Senior Championship overall title. Over the next 13 years, he would become the most decorated Winter Olympic athlete with eight medals, two of them gold, two silver, and four bronze. He has 21 World Championship medals and is a three-time overall world champion. Since retiring, he won a mirror ball on Dancing with the Stars, is a sports commentator, philanthropist, and businessman. The third child of Chinese immigrants from Hong Kong, Michelle Kwan began figure skating at the age of five. She practiced three to four hours a day starting at the age of eight by skating before and after school. In the eighth grade, she left public school for homeschooling. Kwan quickly began winning championships and accumulated over 40 titles over her career. She holds five world championships, nine U.S. championships, and two Olympic medals, a silver and a bronze. She holds the record for the most perfect scores by a single skater under the 6.0 judging system with 57. Jeremy Lin is the first basketball player of Chinese and Taiwanese descent to play in the NBA. However, his journey to the NBA was not an easy one. He did not receive a single athletic scholarship and decided to attend Harvard University, an Ivy League college that did not offer athletic scholarships. At Harvard, he became the first player to record over 1,450 points, 450 rebounds, 400 assists, and 200 steals. He graduated with a degree in economics, but was not drafted into the NBA. The summer after graduation, he was invited to play in an NBA summer league program for the Dallas Mavericks. At the end of the summer, he was approached by several teams and chose to play for the Golden State Warriors. Lynn played nine seasons in the NBA and won one national championship with the Toronto Raptors. He is best known for his rise to fame with the New York Knicks during the 2011-12 season. The Knicks had lost 11 of 13 games and coach D'Antoni decided to give Lynn a try. Lynn became the first NBA player to score at least 20 points and have seven assists in his first five starts, giving way to the vernacular Lynn Sanity. Born to a Chinese immigrant father and Puerto Rican mother, Julie Chu was raised in Connecticut and became the first Asian American woman to play on a U.S. Olympic hockey team. She delayed attending college at Harvard to play in her first Olympics. Once at Harvard, she scored 88 goals and topped the assist chart with 197. She was a recipient of the Patty Kazmaier Award, which is the equivalent of the Heisman Trophy for the NCAA women's ice hockey. 
she became the highest point scorer in NCAA history with 284 points. Chu competed in a total of four Olympic Games, winning three silver and a bronze medal. She was the flag bearer in the closing ceremony at the Sochi Games. She played professionally for seven seasons and coached women's hockey at several collegiate institutions. Edric Woods was nicknamed Tiger after his father's friend from the military. Born to parents of mixed heritage, Tiger coined the phrase Cablanasian, which stands for Caucasian, Black, American Indian, and Asian. Tiger became known as a golf prodigy when he appeared on the Michael Douglas show at the age of three, defeating a comedian, Bob Hope, in a putting contest. Woods went on to become the youngest U.S. junior amateur champion and the only three-time winner of the event. After receiving a full scholarship to Stanford, Woods left after his sophomore year to turn pro at the age of 20. Eight months later, he won his first major tournament, the Masters. He scored a record 207 strokes over 72 holes. His closest competitor was 12 strokes behind. This was the largest lead in the history of the tournament and Tiger was the youngest player ever to win at the age of 21. He is presently tied for the most PGA Tour wins with 82. In the year 2000, Woods had the lowest career scoring average in PGA Tour history at 68.17. He is also the only player to win all four major professional championships consecutively. Sammy Lee, first Asian male to win an Olympic gold. Christy Yamaguchi, Olympic gold medalist in figure skating. Michael Chang, youngest male to win a Grand Slam tennis tournament. Eileen Gu, two-time winter X Game champion. Chloe Kim, youngest snowboarder to win an Olympic gold. Bobby Belsina, first Asian American to play Major League Baseball. Michelle Wee, youngest United States Golf Association champion. Michelle Watterson, ranked number one in 2013-14 in mixed martial arts.